All right, Rippers, we're out here at the range today. It's public range, licensed, bonded, all that kind of good stuff. Magazines we're using are under uh, the round count that uh, YouTube doesn't like. So I'm just using three rounds at a time anyway in a five round magazine. So that being said, we're out here working on that project, that 20 inch AR upper. Uh, and, you know, we said we were going to shoot some 55 grain and we we're going to shoot some uh, 62 grain through it and see how it does with the first step of modifications which basically we left it as iron sights it's a 20 inch rifle uh, and uh, it's got we're gonna we're gonna see how it does with just the fixed sights on it and seeing if we can shoot through that optics see-through base that we can have so hang on tight here we go going hot Green. At the closer target first. Here to get my spectacles on because I'm getting old. Alright. Alright. These are 62 grains at the closer ones. Oops, I put that one in backwards. I better watch the boxes I'm getting them out of, huh? All right. So here's three at 50 yards. And I think I got this thing dialed in we're supposed to, but we're gonna find out. We're going to try just for the center body mass of that target. So let's see if we can do it here. Check. This is 55 grain. This is that Sergeant Major munitions that we're going to be working with. Let me make sure we're here. Yep. We're going to try this at the bottom target of this one. yard target at the lower target. See how we do. I'm actually going to aim at the neck region. Okay. You 
guys want to clear? Okay. Alright, we got the range cleared. We're heading out. Let's see how we did. Okay. So now I got it kind of backwards, but the top target is going to be the 62 grain regular ball ammo. So this is at 25 yards, 62 grains, and that's not too bad. And this is the 55 grain, which is meant for that gun, really. And that's not doing too bad. Let's see how we do. Now keep in mind, these are open sights, right? We're not doing the, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but we're not doing the optics yet, right? Because that's something that was going to, we're going to take this project in stages, okay? So let's get out here. Here's the 50 yard target. And here we are, 62 grain, not too bad. And the 55 grain, not too bad. Especially for an inexpensive rifle. Now keep in mind, this is just an inexpensive AR-15. And that was the goal. If you haven't seen it, go back and check the original video. The first video kind of explains the project and lets you know what we're going to be doing. So, that way uh, you guys can join along in the fun. Or the disappointment. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we did here. All right, so the 62 grain were these three aiming at the body. So that's not too bad, that's two, you're going home, and three, you're going home too. And then here, I was aiming right there, and I knew it would shoot higher because it's 55 grain, and I had sighted it in for the 62 grain. And I did that on purpose because that way I know if I'm shooting 55 grain through it, then it's going to shoot a little high, right? It's not going to drop as quickly, that kind of stuff. Um, so I used the 62 grains first just for this stuff getting on paper, right? So I don't have a lot of misses and stuff like that. And as you can see, I don't, and I saved a lot of ammo. That being said, these are my 55 grains. Now what I will do is when we're done with this project, we'll start zeroing it in once we've seen how it performs and we do things like chronographs and all that other kind of stuff. We're gonna find out which is better and if this 55 grain out of that 20 inch is really what it's meant for, and I think it is. But so far, this is just the beginning part. We're having some fun. And uh, when we decide at the end what we're gonna shoot through this gun, that's what we'll sight it in for. And I have a feeling it's gonna be the 55 grain. Now, I'm gonna head back to the bench because I got one more target I'm gonna see if I can hit. So, let's do her. Now, when we get back, I'll make the range hot because this is a licensed bonded public range with all the safety doodads and widgets and wudgets. And believe me, there really needs to be, you know, before you go out there and start saying freedom this, rights that, which I'm all for, 100%, you guys know it, uninfringed, right? But that doesn't mean if you're a knucklehead, stupid dingbat, right? It means you can have the freedom to be a knucklehead, stupid dingbat, but there's going to be consequences if you infringe upon somebody else's rights or mess up. So... That being said, the people that were here before, not these people, were shooting in front of the firing line, even though it says all over the place, shoot behind the firing line. So there you have it. Anyway, sorry if I'm huffing and puffing a little bit, still working on that heart issue, but here we go. We're gonna put her back in, hopefully without turning it off. There we go. We're back in, straighten her up. Going hot? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try first for that milk jug out there with 55 grain, knowing it shoots high, because I wanna see if it really explodes it. If I can't hit it, then I know my 62 grain's on, and we'll clean up with that. So let's do that. Keep an eye out. Now, here we go. I'm gonna show you where. And I'll zoom into it. It's way out there by the green target. So let's zoom in. You don't need to see me, I'm ugly. All right, so let's see if I can tip this up some. Let's 
still get that in there. Come on, there we go. That's a good one. You guys see it right, right down here by the edge of that green target? That's it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more angle on it. There we go. Well, hold on. I don't want to mess things up though. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I want to see more of the splash, though, right? right yeah. Come on now. These Kmart specials. Anyway. There we go. All right, here we go. Gonna do it. Hot. Hot. All right, 55 grain first. We'll just do one at a time. Let's see if we can get her. Now it's shooting high, so I'm gonna go right there. Uh, I think that did it. I think we're done with this video, except for, let's go ahead and share what's coming up on the next one. Now, as we said in the past, we've got some next steps to do, a couple of them. We're gonna put this here. Oop, let me unzip, doop, 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 there we go. The next step is to mount this here, Strike Fire HG Gen 2, up here on the, the quad rail, and see how this thing's done with optics. Now, as you can see, you could take it just like that. If we're talking simple, cheap, inexpensive, wanting to vaporize things out to five, 300 yards, right now, it'll do all of that. Now, we're not shooting at 300, we're shooting at 100, but you get what I'm saying. With some practice, you'll be able to hit out there at 300. Our range only goes to 200, and we'll be doing some of that in the future videos. But that being said, you can see that it can be done, right? But it's always good, I think, to have a low power optic on there that you can switch from and shoot through. Now, I'll be able to mount this and still shoot through with my iron sights, so I won't need any other backup sights. And that's awesome, right? And you'll see a few other things sitting here. I've got a different, you can see I've got that little lightweight one on here. I've got a different little Magpul stock on here. Oh, it's getting windy. And I've got a little something something in there. And I'll explain why once we get this thing on, right? And why it's gonna be needed. So until next time, you guys have fun. I hope you guys all had a great 4th of July Independence Day, that you were thankful and remembered all the people that gave us the right to have that day, right? And don't forget, when the time comes, we may need to make another, what do we call it? Uh, 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 what do they call that? Sequel, right? Let's hope not. Let's really hope not, because none of us really want that. But just in case, remember, it could be a sequel, but we're going to pray that there wasn't, because once should have been enough. That being said, be safe, be secure. Always be aware of your surroundings, right? Be getting ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. And if you've got it, wear it. And if you're wearing it, get out there and practice with it. Not only to have fun, but for the safety of yourself and others. Right? Because that's what it's all about. It's about our freedoms and rights to enjoy things that we enjoy responsibly. So until next time, adios.